Federal officials say it could take months, even years, for the hardest hit areas to recover. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live in Tallahassee tonight after touring the damage across parts of the panhandle today. Eric, talk us through what you saw today. Oh, we are at the Tallahassee Airport, and actually we flew Sky 6 up here today to tour some of the hardest-hit areas, just like these uh, Navy helicopters are doing right behind me. What we saw along the Gulf Coast was nothing short of devastating. From Sky 6, we immediately saw buildings damaged by high winds near the Tallahassee Airport, but the worst was just a couple miles away. There are tight restrictions on who can fly into this area and who can fly out. So we're actually having to rise in altitude to meet those restrictions in order to get to Mexico Beach, which is right outside this window. This is what we found when we got there. From the air, we saw foundations where houses stood only 24 hours earlier. They were left in pieces, shredded by the 155 mile an hour winds that tore through here. The water from the storm surge was gone, exposing the sand that now covered most of the roadways. Now, most importantly, what we did not see from the sky today was any uh, cars or people out on the roadways, and we're hoping that's because a lot of them evacuated. We know that uh, not all of them did, so we're hoping that these helicopters actually find some survivors there in the Mexico Beach area. Coming up at 5 o'clock tonight, we're going to show you the scene from Panama City, just a couple miles up, up the coast there, and also talk to some government officials about what they saw as they take the exact same tour we did today. We're live at Tallahassee International Airport tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6, back to you. Just awful when you see some of that video and you have to imagine most of the roads in the area are really impassable right now. Eric Sandoval reporting live for us. Thank you. Now, we have posted the unedited version of the aerial footage from Sky 6 on ClickOrlando.com. You can search for this story on the homepage.